welcome back to my channel. It's Evil and the long awaited accommodation tour is here, okay? So, this is a shared accommodation that I live in. I live with three other human beings. One of them is Janine, <laughs> who's recording this video right now. So, Woo! it's a shared bathroom, shared kitchen, and living space. So, bathroom number one is there. That's not the one I use. Comes to the one I use. So, we come in here. It's whatever, like it's a bathroom, I guess. Like there's a toilet, there's a basin, the shower is minuscule, and yeah, that's the bathroom. <laughs> go, go, go. Let's go to the kitchen. <laughs> out-of-date food which is important in the NB. And then this cupboard is like people don't like to clean the cupboard so I just kind of it. Mm -hmm. and then you have the lovely washing machine that Darren is doing the laundry in right now and then you have the dishes that Darren is doing <laughs> right now and then you scoot over and then it's the hob this way. I've never cooked I don't cook with a Cast of at home, so I'm still trying to adjust to like the heat settings and everything up there. And there's this kettle, it's grimy and shit. There's so much lime smell. I've tried so many times to try to clean it and it doesn't come off, but you know what? We move, we breathe, alright? And then we come this way to the living space, and then we sit here to watch the lovely television. This is where Darian says to watch Love Island. And then this is where I sit to watch your island. And then we just get here and watch the TV over there, connected to the TV with the lovely HDMI cord that we got for five pounds at the gadget store. Okay, come with me to my humble bedroom. Oh my gosh, you guys gonna know my secret! My secret! Yeah. Okay, so we have the bed. Um, and that's the bed. I got a pregnancy pillow because I need cuddles and Danny is not here. <laughs> and then this is my pretentious bedside table where I pretend to have a book by my side that I read at night and I've been struggling very much to read it at night. Yeah. And then we have my work shoes and my comfortable shoes that I wear like regularly. Then you have the bin. Then you have the basin that's blocked and I need to call people to come and unblock it because I've tried myself and it's not working. <laughs> 10 out of 10 not working. And then you have my hair stuff and like my lipstick. That's why my lipsticks are in the basin because the basin I'm like avoiding to use it. And then you have my work. My backpack! <laughs> my backpack from work laundry basket that I got the other day and Darian was jealous about it and then I sit here when I pretend to work not pretend when I do work um I sit here and I journal and this lovely cute journal bookie that Lindsay and CJ got for me as like a farewell gift and then I come here and I do my weekly plan which I haven't done this past week because I've been very bad at weekly planning and then we have my little remote control that we use when we watch Love Island <laughs> when we watch Love Island and I don't want to get out on the couch and then we have my filter jug here because the water in the UK takes like expired dirt from 1956 so this filter jug helps uh, it really does actually work. It makes the water taste so much better. And I know I sound pretentious right now, but it is better, okay? Um, and then you come not to behind the door. I'm going to show you behind the door. No, it's my secrets. Don't come behind the door. It's my secrets. We have my yoga mat that I use when I wake up in the morning when I feel like doing yoga. Lately, I haven't been feeling like it because like, I've been down and out, but like, hopefully this coming week, I'll be better at it. And then behind the door as well, we have my yoga blocks that I use when I do yoga when I'm feeling like it. Repeat the past story. It really helps get, you know that, that stretch? <laughs> that one! <laughs> These yoga blocks are the bomb.com, okay? And then we have Lucinda back here. Remember Lucinda the trolley. And yeah, that's that's the tour, girls. 
That's the tip. All right, I'm gonna record some more, so Darren, you need to leave because I need to talk to my people about my secrets. Bye. The long awaited accommodation tour is done, guys. Do you like it? No, you don't, because I don't like it. Uh, it's livable, um, but like, I don't enjoy sharing. <laughs> Because there's so many, like, if I choose the person I'm sharing with, like, if I chose Darren to share with, we'd be like... Yeah, because I'm just an amazing roommate. Yeah. <laughs> we'd be, like, sharing so well together, but, like, there's tensions that rise, there's animosities that are being created because someone left, like, a passive-aggressive letter about how they appreciate a clean space when we all know this letter was addressed to one person, but it came to all of us, you know what I mean? So, what was the problem in you going to directly speak to the person? But you know what? This rant is not for now. Right now, the purpose of this video for me to like come and have a sit down face to face. Oh, the sun shining, 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 shining. So, uh, I asked y'all to give questions. I wrote them on a piece of paper because I'm not like a bougie person that has a camera and can scroll through their phone and be like, oh yeah, this one I got from Instagram. And the person says, no, I have to write it down because my camera is not fair. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So, I'm gonna split it up into questions about like work questions about um like lifestyle and culture and then at the end if we have time if we have time i'll do like a weird thing that i've noticed thing, okay so let's first do which one should we do first darian yeah. lifestyle <laughs> so yeah i'm just not in the video <laughs> So with lifestyle, the first question someone asked me was, do you notice a demographic difference? Yes, uh, I do. Yeah. Um, like especially like when we go out and stuff like that, and the places that we have gone out to, they've been mostly like white people, and I feel like I'm the only black person. But most of the times I am, or like there's a random black guy like in the crowd, and then because I'm black and he's black and he tries to move to me, and I'm like, no, sir, wearing my fake ring, I'm married. <laughs> Um, so there is a, a, like a demographic like difference, but like in the workplace. I was gonna say I think it also depends. Yeah. Like where you are. Exactly. So like at work, there's people of like many different colors and everything, but like when you go out, depends on like where you go out. Then you'll notice the demographic difference. I'm still looking for like a place to vibe where black people go. If anyone knows where that is. With good music. Good music. Oh my god, it's so guys. Because there was attic, but there was no good music there. And attic is also like Dolly's man. It's like a um, tin roof. <laughs> <laughs> so not attic. So I'm still trying to find a place, and I might want to ask my friend that I'm seeing today to leave like places to vibe. It's probably going to be south of the river, but if we have to go that far for good music and good vibes, you'll drag me along with absolutely. you. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So the second question: How's rent? <laughs> oh my soul. And is it easy to find people to house share with? Firstly, rent is exorbitant. It's extortion, daylight, robbery, 10 out of 10 would not recommend it. Ah, why? The other day, I was speaking to a lady, like this lady recognized that my accent is South African. I'm like, I'm still struggling to find, figure out like accents that are South African or not. And she was like, oh, I hear South African accent there. And I'm like, yeah. She's like, where are you from? I'm like, Joe. It's like, oh, I'm from Joe. I'm like, hey, kick, 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 kick. And she's been here for 22 years. And <laughs> And she's like, yeah, no, like the biggest adjustment for her was to like accept that 45% of her salary goes to rent. 45%! Are you well? No! 45! No man. No man. So this accommodation that I'm in that you just saw, which the rent includes water gas electricity and council tax i'll give a definition for what council tax is Please. and council <laughs> tax um comes up to 645 pounds which is 13,500 13, yeah. plus minus that's a nice bond repayment back home yes that's a bond house with my centini like, you know, morning side type of vibe and I'm paying it for a shared accommodation, right? And like, this is considered cheap because at other places, 
the water, the gas and the electricity and the council tax is not included and they still pay for my 650 pounds and then they have to pay for my gas water electricity and that like water that like gas comes up to 95 pounds water is a 45 pound electricity is another whole story especially now like especially in winter like skyrocketing prices right we just recently had to pay oh, <laughs> our rent because for the first month the trust that we work for like provided like the the rent and like they really did like a calendar month so from like darian got here on the 18th of june and they paid until the 18th of july i got here on the 27th of june and they paid until the 27th of july and then the rest now you must find out for yourself right so i went to go pay rent for this month of august which is 645 plus from the 27th to the 31st of august and that came up to 755 pound and i'm breathing through the wound it's not i'm not doing okay i'm not doing okay and then terry on the other hand over 900 pounds over 900 pounds straight away out of my account my chest it's not right. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Wild. Yeah. But is it easy to find people to house share with? I think yes. Um, because like there's like Darian has found one. Because when Danny gets here, I'm gonna be moving in with Danny, so she's found one. So Sibyl is ditching me when Danny comes, so I need to find a roommate. Mm -hmm. So I've already found one, but yeah. So she's kind enough to continue to stay here until Danny arrives, which I strongly, strongly appreciate. Thank you so much. Because I'd actually punch people if she wasn't here. And then, um, but like there are Facebook groups, like the one that I'm on, there's called London Girls. Like, girls in london or something like that and like you can advertise they only allow advertising space every saturday like i'm looking for a housemate looking for roommates whatever and there's another one uk south africans in the uk helping each other so you like you can find people there but a lot of the ones that are on the south african helping south africans helping each other are like families so like don't go there to find a housemate because you'll just find a family okay and then the question what do you think about long distance relationships and Nico, all right, I'm not okay. Every day, every day. No, guys, it's very difficult. I never thought I'd be a girl. I was like, I was like, I'll never do long distance. Now nah, I'm here <laughs> doing long distance. Remember the pillow? Let me show you. Oh, shit. <laughs> this pregnancy pillow, I got it because, number one, I miss cuddles. And number two, it's comfortable. And number three, I miss cuddles. <laughs> it was Danny's recommendation actually. He was like, just get a pregnancy pillow. And it's the first, first, first 13 pounds I've ever spent. It's so comfortable. And I, I, I hate long distance, I hate it. So hopefully we'll find out about his visa next week, Tuesday, because that's like the, keep, that's like the 15, <laughs> That's like the 15 day, 15 working day ever since we had to re-upload um, more evidence that we are partners. Yeah. Anyway, so those are the questions I got about like cultures and living. There's another one that's very weighted that I'm going to bring as like a tied one. I didn't write it here because so, I remember it. And the person that asked me, she's a friend of mine. I was like, ah! That's a very loaded question, ma'am. She's like, I'm sorry, but I have to answer it. Okay. Now looking at the health side, um, OT, OT in SA versus UK. What's the biggest culture shock? No, ma'am. No. <laughs> They're OT different here, man. <laughs> like, it's a different breed of OT. And I'm like, okay, sharp here. We still have like we still have some clinical that we do. Okay, now this is from the perspective of working in an acute hospital setting, like doing ward work and stuff like that. I cannot speak for rehab placement. I cannot speak for other types of things. So the work the ward that I'm currently working on is a cardiology and gastroenterology ward. The whole thing I was right. gonna say that was pretty impressive. Um, <laughs> <stop>. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 
so it's a cardio and gastro ward so it's a lot of people that came with heart attacks alcohol poisoning and stuff like that so that they become like they take get weakness or like it's like a lot of old people you know so like we do like mobilizations and stuff like that but the aim of the hospital is to push people out like be pushing people out like in out in out because they have a bed pressure and everything and everything and everything but the biggest shock of ot in south africa versus ot in the uk is that our role in the uk is basically discharge planning like push people out and like people depend on you girl the mdt depends on you to get the patient home the entire hospital depends on the ot to get the patient home basically the pressure is getting worse today <laughs> because what they do is that there's different types of discharge avenues right you can either discharge a patient via ipr inpatient rehab you can discharge a patient to go home but for them to get in intensive rehab services like where the physio comes and gives them rehab in their home you can get them like with the spa like referral which like physio still comes but it's not as intense as IRS and then there's home first you can discharge patients home first and then there's a D2A and then there's fast track and like there's so many discharge avenues and all of these discharge avenues go on the OT on my shoulders <laughs> All on my shoulders. The pressure is getting worse. Up. Anyway, so like that's the biggest thing, and like there's there's like systems that are in place that are meant to work, and they do work. Like to be fair, yeah. so like you discharge a patient, and you put a package of care whereby you have carers going to their home, and before that happens, then there needs to be equipment that goes into the patient's home, and like the equipment does get delivered to the patient's home, like not big equipment, not small and a thing. Like Big, hoist. Like a hoist and a hospital bed and a Sara steady. I now know what a Sara steady is. Didn't two months back. Two months back. I didn't know what that was. So like also another thing that I will say is that they're very, very equipment heavy. Like everything is equipment based. I think it's like to remove themselves from like but everything is to protect the the, the therapist. Because people are very big on suing the like the NHS. And like people sue the NHS, which is fine. The NHS will back you and be like, no, 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 no. And then after the court case is settled, the NHS comes back and sue you. <laughs> that's what being sued after winning the case. But alas, so like that's the biggest culture shock. Like this is like OT in South Africa versus OT here in the UK. I hope like I explained that like well. Yeah, just remember that it is from an acute yeah. setting. Not mm -hmm. we can't really speak for the rehab side of things. So. Yeah. When I make a rehab friend, this is good. She's so cool. She works in hand therapy. I want to be her friend. Oh, I'll be a friend with you. <laughs> yeah. So the another question someone asked, like, can you refer to body parts as per the book, or are there new PC ways? I don't really think don't body think. parts per se, but there's certain <laughs> clothing, <laughs> which Darian has been struggling greatly with. You cannot so, say pants here. <laughs> So in the UK, pants are underwear, right? And trousers are pants. Make sense? So when you say please like lower your pants or please lift up your like your pants, you'd be like, no, please lift up your trousers. Because if you say please take off your pants, they're really gonna take off their underwear. So fine line, a fine, fine line, right? So that's the like terminology in terms of like um like clothing as well as like the houses so like you know how we have a house and there's double story or like a single story house and there's a flat you know here it's a house a house is a house that has two level living so it has a bottom floor and an upstairs and then a bungalow is like one house like single house and then you have a flat which is like a normal flat and then there's a yes oh my god and then they call their nappies pads if they call their nappies pads what are pads I don't know. That's, I was literally thinking this the other day. I was lying in bed saying, what do you call pads if they call the nappies pads? So, very confusing. What do you call pads when the pads are nappies? <laughs> if you're British and you know the answer, comment down below because I don't. I don't know the answer. And then, 
what's another thing oh like the treatment modality inputs that i've noticed is like for where we'd say um low endurance the patient has low endurance they'll say the patient has a low exercise tolerance so like something like that and then where it'd be like a, like something, big on assistance of one and assistance yeah, of two yeah where it'd be like minimum moderate yeah. maximum so like with minimum assistance it's just you know that it's one person and then moderate then you know it's like two because yeah. then we use the film yeah yes. yeah 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 so like the i don't know which like evidence-based thing they use like to be a system of yeah, one to but different. I'm very familiar with the functional independence measure which is like minimum assistance yeah we use that as well yeah minimum assistance moderate maximum dependent independent you know like seven scale measure you know mm. so that's what I and then like no assist of one assistance of two max assistance of one like that's what like they that's how they think it. that's how they measure it and then there was another one that I was thinking of the other day is deconditioning where it's just saying oh, yes, has low muscle strength you know like has like weak muscle weakness they so big on the term yes and then like abbreviations i don't know if this is everywhere but or it's just with the, like the word that i work where i was writing in the notes and i was like writing sitting on the edge sitting on the edge of bed right so the like the abbreviation i'm used to is s-o-e-b which is sitting on edge yes of bed. So i also use that yeah came here and was like, no, it's not S-O-E-B, it's S-O-E-O-B. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to throw her, I'm like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So it's just like getting adjusted to that. But yeah, like there's like, the humorous will be the humorous, the... Um, the, yeah, like, I mean, it's anatomy, you can't yeah. really... But I think it's like terminology of like therapy input and like clothing and like the houses and, and like stuff. so with the cognition we're with the capacity thing yes you know, like does the person have capacity yeah like, yeah, yeah like i didn't really come across that term like term a mm, lot whereas mm. in south africa we use more like decreased condition um cognition, cognition. Oh. yeah 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 that's like more like the mental yeah. area and stuff like that mental but yeah, yeah 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 and then the last question that we have that my friend asked me, she was like, was the move worth it? Whoa, that is a, that is a full, full on That's a question. very loaded question. I That's feel like it's soon to answer question. that though. Yeah, so I want to say like, I've been here, this is week seven, been here seven weeks Two working, <laughs> been here seven weeks, been working six weeks. And I want to say, I'm. I'm too heavy into the adjustment period to say that the move was worth it because right now my experience is clouded mostly by my work experience because like that's like five days a week eight hours of the day I'm like there at work and I'm struggling to like adjust in terms of like the, the new term work balance yeah the new terminology at work getting OT reports done like the amount of pressure that I'm feeling at work or like if I'm not doing great at work that just clouds my entire like experience but I really think as soon as I'm like adjusted and I'm doing great there by my workplace and I'm like assimilated as an OT in the UK like in terms of work and an OT in the acute area I'll be able to proper like answer uh, whether the move was worth it or not um, but right now I don't think I can answer that without clouded judgment or like a clouded vision because now right now I'd say no <laughs> because the adjustment is just so hard in terms of like what I'm used to and what is different and the things you you overlook that you might get in trouble for and I'm also still over, out, like going through a probation and they take probation very seriously this side like back when probation was like a gig at least like for me yeah like <laughs> it was a side of things it is yeah adjusting to that is yeah a bit difficult. um and like i'm very under like stressed I, I, this is all self-inflicted stress i bet you because <laughs> no one said 
the probation i'm not gonna pass it because if i continue to do my work as an ot i'm probably gonna pass the probation but they have objectives that you need to meet so i'm after stressing i'm like am i meeting this objection i'm get i'm very paranoid as well hey so like every time i'll see my supervisor or like the physio that i work with on the ward um talking to each other or like them talking to other people i have a feeling they're talking about me and like how i'm not doing well i'm oh very paranoid about that and i know i need to stop um so right now look a bit shaky <laughs> thereby um what is this adjustment and is the worth move worth it ask me this at the end of i'll come back and answer this at the end of october yeah, I feel like that's a better at the end of October. Timeline. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a better that's a better timeline. But yeah. Any other things? Like any other questions you guys have to like have think thought of and like in the like duration of this video? Um put them down in the comments. But before I'm gonna seal it off with the with a light note because that was very heavy. Like that was too much. <laughs> Funny things that we've noticed ever since being here, everyone vapes. Vaping is fashion. Everyone vapes. Everyone, like, literally, you turn the corner, there's a vape shop. And the vaping matches their outfit. The vape color matches their outfit. So if I'm wearing this, I would have like this color vape. If I'm wearing like a, the vape matches the outfit, right? And that's something that like people on YouTube have said, people on TikTok have said. The vape culture is like vape is killing the babies, and it's not like you know how like vape was created. Not like I'm not sure. Correct, my fact check it might be wrong. But it's created to curb your smoking. smoking I think so, yeah. People go straight to vape. It's, it's not like no, I'm trying to cut down on smoking and nicotine. And, no, straight to vaping, right? So like, it's a big culture. And another thing, everyone is orange, especially in the summer. Orange. <laughs> my fact check. Let's have a taste of it right now. <laughs> Here's a fundamental for you. Oh, thank you. And a fundamental for me. Okay, this one. It just tastes like orange mentos. It does. I've been tasting the fizz. Okay, <laughs> If you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below any other questions that you want me to answer anything that i missed or like you want me to elaborate on um comment that down below follow me on instagram because that's where the shit like every day every day upload happens subscribe to the channel road to 200 guys we're growing we're growing Woo subscribe to the channel okay thanks bye <laughs>